Hey, it's Bruce from TPC. I'm here today with Travis Irwin. He is our head of purchasing. He is also a master of mountain bike mechanicals. Oh, okay. I like this one. Yeah, definitely. So, everyone's had a mechanical before, mm -hmm. and definitely you need to carry some tools to fix it. You and do. what we're gonna talk about today is this really cool Canadian brand out of Squamish, One Up Components. And tell me a little bit about One Up, Travis. Yeah, so they make more than just tools, but they're essentially an engineer team that was looking at innovative and resourceful ways to not only carry your tools, but make products that are better than what you're finding out there today. Yeah, definitely. Usually with tools, for me, I gotta toss it in a backpack, yep. or I gotta strap it to my frame with some Velcro. Totally. Both options that I'm not that into. I don't like riding with a backpack. I don't like scratching up my frame. So, what we have here, this is One Up's EDC tool system. Yeah, so EDC stands for Everyday Carry. And to Bruce's point, the trend today is to, to put everything on bike. And instead of having to carry these things and have them weigh you down, the way that they've engineered these things and made it very compartmentalized is super ingenious. We have two tools here. We're gonna start with the EDC Lite. Yeah, this is one of my favorites because it's super easy to install. This system actually drops into your steer tube. So you can see this bolt here, bolts directly into the star nut on the steer tube, drops in and it's right on the top. So you can slide out your tool real quick. If you need to make any adjustments, it's got Torx, it's got all the Allens. I think it's got a flathead. Yep. So everything that you're gonna need on the trail. Yeah, and I think this comes in a few colors. I grabbed the green there, but it's so obviously there's black and there's a few other colors yeah. also. One Up's kind of factory color is green and so you'll see that as an accent on most of their products. Yeah, and I think this is the tool that most riders are gonna gravitate towards. But if you need like, let's, let's call it like full coverage yeah. sort of tool solution, yeah. we have their One Up EDC V2 tool. Yeah, so the V2 tool is ingenious. Talk about innovative and resourceful. The way that they engineered this to pack all the tools and uh, customization in this is pretty impressive. So I had to practice this before we, we showed up, yeah. but you, you kind of break it like a glow stick, right? Yep. So, boom. So what we have here, we have the same tool that you have on the EC Lite, mm -hmm. but you also have- It's a tire lever. Tire lever, chain breaker. Yep, chain and, tool. You also have down here, this is a storage capsule. Yeah, there's actually two compartments on here. And one you can use to stash tire plugs, patch kit, whatever you want to put in there. You can also use a CO2 and screw it onto the end of this. So nice. if you want a quick way to inflate your tire as well. Yeah, so let's talk about this tire plug kit. So it yeah. doesn't come with it. It's sold separately here, but we have it. You and put one of these tire plugs on the end and it's quick, simple, just stab it, jab it pop it in yeah. and your plug is ready to go. And it also you can probably even stash these quick link pliers yep. in there. So you got options. Oh yeah, I should mention this also has a little quick link holder right there. Yeah, right on the back, yeah, that's yeah. really cool. You can hold a quick link there. So again, they, they thought of everything when they designed the V2 tool and again, fully customizable, however you see fit. These packaged together, you can all fit it in here. What's also really ingenious is how the V2 actually can mount to your bike. Yeah, so it's also hidden in the steer tube, but obviously it's a lot bigger. Yep. You're gonna have to take the star nut out, so you need a different way to preload your headset. Yeah, so they make a tap kit, and what happens is you actually need to tap the steer tube itself, and so you're creating threads in that steer tube. Once those threads are created, they make a plug that plugs from the bottom of the frame to keep any sort of dirt, water or anything coming up and contaminating the tool. And then you thread in this top cap that uses a standard cassette tool or again, the tool that's based on the V2 to tighten down. And so that creates the tension on the fork. And then just drop her in. It slides in, snaps in, in your steer tube. Always have quick access there. So similar to the light, but with this, it takes a little bit more, again, tapping your steer tube compared to just dropping this in yeah. and pushing the starter. And I grabbed the oil slick because that's my favorite color, but it does come in a bunch of different anodized colors. Black, obviously, but a few others. But let's say you don't want to carry your tool in your steer tube. You don't want to mess with that. There is another option. Yeah, both Bruce and I actually go a different route. We use the same tool, but instead of tapping your fork and putting this in, 
you can actually buy one of the one-up pumps that come in two different models and it incorporates the V2 tool inside of the pump. So this is this is actually my pump. This is the 70 cc version. Yeah. It also comes in a slightly larger 100 cc version, which is about that long. I've got the 100. Yeah. Compensating. But, uh, <laughs> uh, it's cool. It's a high volume pump. So, you know, you can inflate a mountain bike tire. You can inflate flat. a mountain bike tire. And yes. then where the tool goes, you can see here's mine. It just goes in the back of the pump right there. You can start working out if you're gonna I be able to get these in and out. I, all I care about is the legs. Okay. All so. I care about is the legs. But, um, well, show them the, the plug there on the end there. Yeah, and so I have my little tire plug pre-threaded right there. Yep. And I get a flat. Jab it in. Yeah, which inevitable. I'm gonna yep. get a flat. Then but, you got your pump to fill it up afterwards. Really no time wasted while you're doing your enduro. And this comes with a bottle cage mount, but also, there are companies that make mounts where you can mount this to, say, the accessory mounts yeah. that a lot of mountain bike frame manufacturers are putting under the top tube. That's right. So that's so where I stash mine. I've yeah. got the same mount on mine. I think this might be the slickest way to carry a tool on a bike. Every time I bust one out on the trail, I've done it a few times already to like save yeah. someone. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, that is nice. That is cool. Yeah. That is nice. And I'm definitely, with the bottle cage mount, I'm going to run this pump on my gravel bike too. Yeah, it's super MacGyver-ish, yeah. right? Like, mm -hmm. So you can find all these one-up tools and more at www.tpc.bike. So be sure to check that out, and we will see you on the trail. On the trail. Start working out. Ooh, much easier.